So Kenny Squires giving him the rundown now on what to do. Round three. And there's a lot of solid punches going in on this British Championship fight, I promise you, particularly from Tony. I've seen Clinton uh, overcome sort of uh, doubtful starts like this in the past, Jim, but you're saying at 31, can he go on doing it, particularly when he was talking about getting out of the game for a while? He runs a painting and decorating business in South London. Well, as I said, we keep saying he can do it again. I suppose someday we're going to have to be right. But uh, he's been tagged this afternoon. There's another one. Yeah. Oh, you see the delay come there. You don't often see that with Clinton. He he knew he'd taken a whack, but he didn't want to move, and then his body betrayed him there, and he had to go in the third. He started a bit in the second round, particularly towards the end. Oh, they're really planning, can hardly miss him. He's standing, he's not moving at all, Clinton. What a brave fellow he is. He, I've really always respected the way he stands there and trades. He did it with Ray Leonard when he was an amateur, and he's still doing it at his age. But for how long? You really can't miss him with that right hand now, Jim. It's only courage and experience that, that held Clinton oh. up. Oh, cracker. I, oh. Said, I said right hander, but the left hook did it. And I can't think that he'll, if he gets up from this, he's really got to pull his heart together, and he's done it. He's up, but the referee.